Hey everybody! Happy lunchtime. I thought this is probably the perfect time to have a conversation. It's very touchy that I know a lot of you will be reading the heading going, Oh, that's deep. That's heavy. That's a lot to speak about. And it's after having a great conversation with my bestie, um, Laura, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're having this conversation and she was like, Shana, you need to share that. Like, that there and it's been coming into my awareness extreme in, in, in extreme amounts right now hi mark hey priscilla still we have to catch up um and it's the conversation about eating disorders and i suffer myself like not a badge that i wear it's not a it's not a title it's just something that has been present and um working with myself and working with my client my others um I know we all need to be reminded of this, so this is why I think it's a really good conversation to have, um, to bring back that awareness and that conversation, um, and really come from a space of love and nurture, but also call bullshit on a lot of stuff. Um, I know that we need to be reminding each other in these areas because without that, we we kind of we we get lost in the noise, and I know that that's con chronic and constant. So. The real nuts and bolts of eating disorders and the roots of all of it is to do a lot with things like not being okay with who you are. Internally, externally, however you show up. 98% of the time, it is, I have an eating disorder and it's coming about because I'm not okay with me. I'm not okay with how I show up. I'm not okay with what I represent or what I have or don't have and what I feel is the energy that is required or the presence or all that stuff. Hello, everybody. Wow, there's heaps of people on. Um, you know, not being okay with who you are right now quite often will be the root seed or the feeling or the emotion behind the eating disorders. Then you have not being okay with not knowing who you are. How many of those out there, you can put your hand up or you can choose not to, have no idea who you are and it irks you. Now, there's been a lot of conversations about eating disorders very, very recently within my energy, my world, and the not knowing who you are. I know so many people that are out there searching and digging and diving and finding someone else. And, and I can say for myself as a reflection, I know that this time last year, I was there and I was like, you tell me who I am read me who I am, write me who I am, like someone tell me, share me, help me figure out who I am and I was doing all this external like validation, I was doing all this external discovery stuff and I kept constantly trying to find the people, the stuff, the things to help me figure out who I am and how to be okay with who I am but more importantly the lesson and the learning, the greatest, deepest, darkest part of that was knowing that I could be okay with not knowing who the fudge I am and figuring it out along the way, letting it be whatever that looks like, like allowing yourself to just let go of the expectation of having to know it all. Like we come out of school and they're like, so what do you want to be? And I do it to my stepkids and I'm like, so what do you want to be when you leave school? And they're like, I don't know. And I sit there and I'm like, God, that's such, oh, that's a horrible way of looking at life. Like, what do you want to be? go figure it out like that's another topic so many of us are not comfortable with this um and it really takes a lot of learning a lot of lessons a lot of surrendering um and i am continuously learning every day of what that actually looks like and how i can just let go of not knowing who i am and learn to enjoy the process learn to enjoy the evolution the growth the discoveries and the lightening the load in that acceptance if that makes sense so um, it's a really great way to be to beat the disorder and that's what it is it's a disorder it's a disorder of who you are you know um, Laura made a, one of my friends made a really great Laura uh, a really great perspective on this of when you go into the restaurant and you're like hey I just want food feed me and they're like oh, okay I'll give you something and if you bitch and moan and whinge it's because you didn't get clear on what you're actually wanting and what you're actually desiring and what that actually looks like so of course that's going to lead to disorder but then we sit there and we judge the fact that we're sitting in disorder and we get 
all this angst and rather than just enjoying the process and going hey this is interesting that I'm in disorder because I haven't yet found the thing that is me that I feel resonates with me the most and we judge it and we lose the, the glory we lose the greatness in the journey in the process so the message to all of you out there who suffer from a disorder and something anything to do with something like an eating disorder <laughs> I have a mantra for you and it is my perfectionist self is not going to have it all right right now because what is that what is right what is right how do we really know or can we just trust that what is happening right now is right is perfect is enough is gorgeous is tasty is mindgasmic in what it is you know we are always in the right space right now for what we need whether it be good the bad the ugly and the shit fits in between it's just knowing that your perfectionist self will sabotage you as soon as she can as soon as she can she'll be like you're not good enough that's not good enough it's not great enough it's not clear enough you're not heard enough you're not seen enough you're not visual enough like whatever the stuff is you're not eating enough and this is to bring you back to the eating disorders it's you're not skinny enough you're not pretty enough you're not like she is you don't sound like she is you don't look like she is and it's like get real get real and understand that your perfectionist self is not going to get it right right now you will learn you will love you will grow and develop and you will guarantee you will make mistakes along the way so that was the message for today I love that conversation that is epic I hope you guys are having an amazing week I'm so excited the six-week self-evolution program is skyrocketing everyone is just having absolute mind-blowing moments and uh, tonight's a big call so I'm super excited ah, great conversations have an awesome day honor yourself love yourself and just Check your perfectionist before she wrecks you.